What's up everybody, I'm RC, and today we're going to be playing a little bit of Metroid Prime Remastered. I played this game briefly the other day when I first bought it, for maybe 40 minutes, just uh, the prologue. I got to choose our ruins, I'm going to continue where I left off. Oh, that's cool. They have little loading screens now. That wasn't in the original. That's, that's pretty neat. I like that. That's cool. I can get down with that. Alright, here we go. It's still weird getting used to these, um shooting like it's Call of Duty. Oh, I don't have the charge beam. I was trying to charge up the beam and I don't have it. Okay, so we gotta go get the missiles. You know, now there's dual stick controls. I wonder if you can turn the sensitivity up. Here we go. Where's my options? Controls. Camera. Uh, yes. Let's let's jack that up a little bit. Let's see how that is. Did it work? Okay, let's see. Oh wow, okay, that's that's a lot faster. Let's turn that down just a little bit. Okay, it's, it's mainly your x-axis that speeds up, not so much your y-axis. Okay. We don't really need that energy, I don't know why I try to get it. Okay. Take out War Wasp. Ow. So there's a missile expansion down there, but we need to morph ball. Let's go get the gun ball. But first we have to get the missiles. Oh. It's been many years since I played the original Prime. There's the missiles. You know. Oh uh, well, you need the space jump. If you if you had a space jump. At this point, you can just skip this boss fight entirely and grab the missiles. Unfortunately, you cannot do that sequence break where you get the uh, space jump early. I tried that in the last video. In this ball fight, you're mainly just trying to spam your lock on. I'm just hitting them randomly. boss isn't really that fun, it's just more of a nuisance than anything. And there we go, the missile launcher. Booyah! I still think that's the best fanfare in the series. New extras unlocked in the menu. I'm gonna have to check that out at some point. And there's our first E-Tank. 
no morph ball. Can't go down there. So now that we have the missiles, we can go get the morph ball. It is very strange playing this game without the space jump, because ever since I learned how to sequence break, every time I've played this on my GameCube copy, I've always sequence broke and had um, the space jump. It's just having the space jump right off the bat is way too convenient to not do it. And you can't do it in the Prime Trilogy version, you can't do it here in the remaster, and it's 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 weird to me to being forced to play the game the way it's meant to be played, I guess. Get out of here. Stupid wasp. We can, once we get the missiles, oh, I had the missiles, I'm an idiot. Uh, oh, I didn't, there we go. Almost forgot I had missiles. Yeah, when you get the missiles, you can just blow the, the nest up. Yeah, we can't get those until we get the morph ball. I was trying to remember if there was a funny way you could get those early, but... There may still be some sequence breaks you can do. I don't really remember. I have to look into it. But from what I remember, pretty much every single sequence break relied on having the space jump. And that is impossible to get the space jump early in this version, unfortunately. And pretty much every version of the game, really, except the original, so. Let's see, Morph Ball is, I think, down here, actually. Yes. These doors kind of look like the Metroid Prime 2 doors to me. They don't... I don't think the doors used to look like that. I think they look slightly different. I have to look it up now. There's the morph ball. Yeah, you can skip this boss fight with the space jump too. There's so many things that you can skip with the space jump. I miss having it. Now I'm having to do all this TV crap. Big mama at. Ow, okay. You're a frisky one. This boss basically serves as a tutorial on how to boost dodge while strafing enemies. That can be bombed. Or can it be missile? No, it has to be bombed, okay. Yeah, cause I'll come back to this room later once we get the spider ball. Yeah, because there's a spider ball track up there. Yes, right there. Yeah. I forget what's up there. But come back with the bombs, blow that up. And there's like a missile expansion or something in there. Oh, while I'm at it, I need to check something. But I'm gonna, <clears throat> gonna get back out here in the daylight. Uh, stupid thing, let's get out of here. Okay. 
So in the original game, you'd have like heat coming off the arm cannon when you'd rapid fire. I want to see if it still does that. Ah, it does. Yes. Okay. I was thinking about that the other day, but I didn't test it out. I'm happy to know that's still in here. That makes me happy. It's the little things in life. Let's see, I can't really exactly remember what the next upgrade is right off the bat. We got that tunnel over here that we couldn't go through earlier without the morph ball. Now I've got the morph ball. Oh, well, you know, I can get this. Where's the hive? Ow. Ow. Oh, okay, we're gonna need the bombs to bounce up there. Stupid wasps. If there's a way you could just no gravity sucks okay I was gonna try to just jump and morph ball into the hole kind of like in the two 2d games but yeah I guess I'm not that good I'm thinking the next upgrade is definitely gonna be the bombs think. I'm trying to remember where you get the bombs. I think this room comes out. <laughs> I, yeah, I couldn't help myself, Spider-Man. I had to play it. I was going to wait until tomorrow to play this, but nah. I had to play it tonight. Just a little bit tonight. Okay, there we go. So this is the elevator room. I think this is that room with the spider ball track. Nope, it's the other, okay. This is where I want to be. Wow, I, I don't remember the gravity effect being so strong. It's like back there earlier, I'm, I don't know, I really thought that I could just jump and morph ball into that hole. No need to bombs for that puzzle. I don't remember where the bombs are. I know there's an E-tank at the end of this room. This comes out back outside. Tank. Let's see. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Went to press Z to look at the map like it's GameCube. Hmm. Oh, that's the wave buster up there, okay. Uh... Oh, I haven't went that way yet. Yeah, I've got my phone opened up where I can see the chat. That's the only way I can see it. I just happened to glance down earlier and saw your message. I really need to get the double monitor set up so I can have the chat. But uh, cell phone's gonna have to do until then. Okay, now we're making some progress. This leads to that big tree, I think. Ow. I like getting all the Chozo lore. I might go back and read it later. I've read all the lore when I was a kid when I played this, but I'm not gonna sit there and read all the lore again. Got a brief glimpse of Samus' face just there. Burns. 
Jeez. Or as Ganon says, it burns! Yeah, the, the, I mean, the lore is important and all, but... Yeah... I've already read all the lore. Go ahead and re-energize, save the game. Oh, the charge beam's nice. Okay, yeah, 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 I remember that now. The charge beam is literally right across from me, through that door. I'm glad, because... Power beam sucks. Unless it's Chozo Ghost. Even then, it still sucks. The only reason Power Beam doesn't suck against Chozo Ghost is because it's literally the only thing you can use against it. Let's see, here we gotta find those symbols. Oh yeah, Missile Cancel still in the game. If you watched the video I had from the other night, I missile canceled the crap out of Barrel Cycle. I'm glad to get that in. Wasn't sure if they would. Digging these dual stick controls. I was, I, I thought I was gonna be kind of a purist and be like, nah, I like the single stick better, but I'm honestly kind of digging this dual stick control. Okay, where's the last one? I, I think that's the one on the wall. I think it's the first, yeah. What, no? Where's it? Yeah, okay, there it is. That lore. Now we're cooking with gas. Resident Evil 2. Eyeballs. I have to come back with bombs later. Ow. Oh, actually, you know, for the longest time I didn't know- Oh, okay. That was rude. Well, I was gonna show everybody something just then, but that eyeball was kind of a dick, so... I'm just gonna leave. But for the longest time, when I was a kid playing this game, I didn't realize you could kill those eyeballs with a charge beam shot. I forgot that was there. Okay, how did that hurt me? I wasn't even that close. I really like the the power beam effect. Look at that, that's cool. It looks like um it looks like in Spider-Man 2. A little um fusion reactor that Doc Ock has, a little ball of 
like the sun or whatever that he has, a little miniature sun. That's what the charge beam looks like when it's powered up like that. The power of the sun and the palm of my arm cannon. Expansion up there. I think we need to bomb to that though. A lot of scrap here. Yes, I see you made that reference to Spider Man. I, kn I knew somebody would appreciate that joke. Let's see. Oh, yeah, bombs are down here. Got these stone toad dudes. Yeah. Let's see. Just gotta go through this hole. Yeah, it's like the flamethrower robot boss, I remember now. to having the space jump and it's really throwing me off. Burn, baby, burn. Stupid wasp. I think the war wasp pissed me off more than any other enemy in this game. And in Prime 2. And I don't remember if they're in Prime 3, but I know they're in 1 and 2. Yeah, the soundtrack in this game is just banging, son. Really, there's a lot of music on the GameCube, and it's just awesome. Like Metroid Prime 1 and 2 have great soundtracks. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, Super Mario Sunshine, Luigi's Mansion. So many good soundtracks, and that's just that's just the ones that I know about and that I've played. I mean, there's just so many freaking classics on the GameCube. And once I get to uh, Fendrina Drills or whatever it's called, I, I think I'm pronouncing it correctly, but. Once we get there, yeah, the music there is always banging. Okay, this controls are kind of screwing with me now. Okay. My favorite, I think one of my favorite tracks in this game is, uh, okay, I gotta get used to the morph ball controls. Anyway, my favorite track in this game, or one of my favorites, is. Not the basic Fendrina Drifts, but the, like, when you go back deep into Fendrina Drifts, like this techno music. When, when you get to Gravity Suit, that area. I really like that. Yeah, I never played Twilight Princess. Well, I played like... Or no, I think I watched you play it, Spider-Man. I didn't play it, I watched you play it. But 
point is, I didn't really play it and I don't remember the music, but I'm sure it does have banging music. Everything on GameCube has banging music, that's a fact. The GameCube is to 3D Nintendo as the Super Nintendo is to 2D Nintendo. Okay, so got the power beam, bombs, morph ball, missiles. What's next? I mean, I know the ultimate thing in this area is going to be the various. Before we move on to magma. Oh, okay, so you know what? There's a sequence break you can do right here. And you still do it. Used to, you could simply just walk into this thing and turn, and you'd start like gliding upwards. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's working. Yeah, because that way it goes to the ice beam. I guess they took all the fun stuff out. Oh, hello, Ace. Well, yes, I do want uh, the bombs. I have the bombs. I'm not sure what rope and lamp oil will do, but, you know, I'll take those too. I just done a U-turn. Okay, I need to go back. You guys distracted me. I think there's an E-Tank through here. I think. Or it could be up top. Okay, yeah, E-Tank's in here. I keep getting my shoot and morph buttons mixed up for some reason. Let me just come back in here for a second. Like, the way... I don't know, that just looks so realistic. The way the light shines and stuff, and the way it changes when you walk in here. I love what they've done with the lighting in this game. That is just... Oh, that is perfect, man. Let's see. I think I need to double jump to get up there. 360 no-scope. So, yeah, we gotta climb this big tree and get to the top and get the various suit and scan these little green symbol things. I'm trying to remember where they're all at. Okay, well, that's two out of four. Jump, Samus. Thank you. Oh, these stupid wasps. These wasps are gonna screw me. Today. 
I really hate those stupid blasts. Ow. Let's see, where's that last symbol? Oh, it was somewhere around. There it is. Okay, so I'm about to go fight uh, Flagra, Flagra, Big Plant. Let me through. I'm not patient. I, I could wait for these, but I just like barging my way through. Damage be damned. Scan you real quick, and then I'm gonna kill you. Does that sound good? Is that cool with you? Okay. The music sounds slightly different. Some of the notes are different. It's weird. I don't know, maybe I'm just, maybe it was always like that, I'm just misremembering like the Mandela effect. Ow. I was looking at the chat. It got me distracted. Yeah, the music is definitely different. This is completely different music than in the original. That's crazy. Spider-Man, your internet died? F in the chat, bro. There. I put my F in there. Con my condolences. I think it's about time for you to get something other than Comcast. Of course, I understand it's not always possible, you know, depending on where you live. Okay, well that was rude. Get out of my face. Spider-Man, since you're watching, does the music sound different to you? Because I swear it's different. Oh, you beat this boss already? Do you have, uh, do you have remastered? Do you have this one?
I mean, I know you were playing it on emulator, I think. Oh, I can't wait to see this various suit cut, cut scene. I want to scan the door. Ah, uh, okay, whatever. Here we go. This is always a cool cutscene. suit looks in this game with these remastered graphics I'm gonna go ahead and say I like the Metroid Dread suit I like the, the power suit and the various suit and the gravity suit and Dread but man there's just something about the classic being to kill these things. Yeah, she's got her football pads on now. She can discharge somebody. Ow. Alright, let's get out of here. Go down to Magmore Caverns. Man elevator scene with the various suits is so cool. I love these graphics. It's still weird though because the way this game looks is really how I remember the game always looking. It's just there's something about this game that's so timeless. I think the controls is the only thing that was keeping you know a younger generation from the series because okay i'll admit the controls aren't for everybody the original controls but now that they've gave it modern controls man there's going to be so many new people playing this and they're just going to fall in love with this game all over again furry detected who's the furry I looked down in the chat and people were talking about furries. Alright, here we go. Oh, his profile picture. I thought his profile picture was an uh, anime dude or something. So yeah, I'm just going to casually destroy this rock and reveal a Chozo artifact that I'm pretty sure I can't even get. Oh, I need the space jump. Well, I might be able to get a jump over there. Nope. I don't even know if you can get a jump. If you don't know what I'm talking about, in the original GameCube version, you could hold down L, and they they call this technique ghetto jumping, and it would give you like a slight increase to your height and distance of your jump, and you could use it to just get to weird areas and stuff. Yes, I love the magma. I mean, it's magmore caverns. Oh, I hate these things. Yeah, 
Yeah, eat that bomb. Normally I have the space jump right off the bat and I just jump over this thing. Look at the steam on the visor. That is so cool. I don't think there's anything in Magmore Caverns that's really obtainable right now. Yeah. Because right now we're just going to go up to, uh, up there. That goes to Fendrina Drifts. Fendrina Drifts. Man, whatever it's called. I don't know how you say it. Thing's not dead. Now it is. We scanned lore. Let's see, the lore is only in red. There's no lore? Okay, well, screw it then. Yeah, they did up the poly count on certain things, Ace. Uh, oh, crap. Because, honestly, it was hard for me to tell when I was first watching the, uh, the trailer in the direct. I was like, it doesn't really look any different from being remastered. But it's like... Okay, there we go. I poured it off. Oh, I gotta do it again. Go. Oh, you gotta do it a third time. There we go. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to tell, back to what I was talking about, it's hard to tell if you're not a really a big fan and hadn't played the original. Because the original game really does just look so good, even after... 23 years, or no, 21 years. Um, the original game is just stunning looking, even today. So the fact that they just went through and increased a few polygons here and there, updated some textures, it's just, and, and made the controls, you know, completely modernized. That's really all they had to do, because the game was such a masterpiece. Like you get to this moment here and Samus can just take a breather. Enjoy the snow. Enjoy the peaceful music. Watch the wildlife before we viciously murder them. I mean, no, we're not gonna do that. Also the water. Dude, okay, it didn't do that in the original. The water ripples when I feel it. Oh my god. Did it do that in the original? I don't know. I'm not sure if it done that in the original or not, but that is really cool. Playing this game is like I have ADHD because I'm just, I'll be talking about something and I'll be distracted by something going on in the game because I'm just blown away with this remaster. I, I really never expected them to do something like this with Metroid Prime because first of all, see Nintendo just 
kind of hates Metroid in general there for a while. And Nintendo doesn't really seem to like the Prime series. I know for a little while the Prime games were almost considered non-canon. Like, there weren't, they weren't even relevant. They were just spin-offs. But now it seems Nintendo has kind of accepted that the Prime games are a part of the main series. Although they're not part of the main numbered series. Not the... They're not the main numbered titles, but they are a part of the overall story and overall canon. And it seems like Nintendo's finally accepted that. And I'm glad the Other M has been left in the past. Yeah, th that water really is impressive, though. I just now saw you guys' messages. I think there's a stream delay. I think I'm about a good minute ahead. Let me go ahead and scan this thing before I murder it. Just doing a little bit of trophy hunting. Nothing to see here. How did I miss? Okay, so I'm about to get the boost ball, I think, soon. The boost ball, the wave beam, and the super missiles are all in this area. Those things are just annoying me. I'm about to see Ridley when we come back through here. Can I go get the super missiles now, or do I get them later? I don't remember. Oh yeah, Ace, I saw you said something about that earlier. It's the snow. Man, we haven't got any snow here in NC. I'm really jelly. Or at least not where I live in North Carolina. If, if you're up in the mountains, then yeah, sure, you're going to get snow. But here, uh, near the coast, we don't get any snow. We do, it's just not often. Okay, I just realized something. I'm about to get the boost ball, which means I can go back and get the space jump. Thank God. Okay, am I stuck? I know there's something. Oh, yeah, I gotta go up here. Yeah, Spider Man, you're living in Florida. You're living in Magmore Caverns, living in a hell hole. It's too hot, man. I'm sorry. I could never live in Florida. Like, I might visit Florida one day, but I'm not going to stay there very long. Heat and me just don't mix. Like, it was 78 degrees outside, like, yesterday. And it made me want to kill myself. Dude, it's like I said, if you live in Florida, you don't have winter. There is no winter. Okay, I didn't pay attention. Okay, that's how you boost. Okay, lucky me. I just guessed how to use boost ball. 
playing uh, Samus Aaron's Pro Skater. I still maintain that I think the door animations are a lot quicker on the Switch than they are on the GameCube. Maybe that's just me, but it really seems like it. Oh, here we go. Meta Ridley's gonna fly over. Kill him soon. Okay, I'm not gonna save. I'm just gonna go get the. Yeah, we need the space jump to get up there to get the super missile. So I'm gonna have to do some backtracking. Yay! Yeah, this is the first. This is the first time we're really gonna have to backtrack in this game. First of many, by the way. But yeah. Oh, it's not snowing there? Oh, that sucks. Well, at least it's cold, because I like the cold weather. That's why I work in the cold. Spider-Man, you, you can't last in the cold where I work. It's, it's negative 40 in those freezers. Your Florida man body just could not survive. Yeah, I'm just gonna totally ignore the turrets. I mean, it seems to be working for the most part. I only took three hits. When you first play the game, you tend to go around just blasting everything. But then, when you've played the game and beaten it five zillion times, you get to the point where it's just like, eh, what's a little damage? I do bet. I bet if you were to go into a negative 40 degree freezer, you would turn into a spider popsicle. So this thing here is actually a Magmore. That's what this place is named after. Little fire dragon snake thing. Oh, I didn't time my jump right. No, he would not last in New York. Absolutely not. Let's see, I can get the space jump and get, I think, two missile expansions at least. Maybe three.
I hate coming back to Chozo Ruins. Oh, well, okay. I can get this one here while I'm at it. Let's see, I think the lock is on the other side. Yep, okay. Double bomb jump. Get up here. Booyah. I forgot all about that missile expansion. Well, I can get this one here too while I'm at it. elevator animations man I, I love these they look good in the original and man they look so much better in this remaster like, whoever was in charge of this remaster at retro they need a raise man they need a raise it's as simple as that everybody on the dev team needs a raise oh wrong button Finally about to get the one power up I've been wanting since I turned this game on. There it is. Ain't she a beaut? Space jump boots. Yeah, it's actually the high jump, but they call it the space jump in this game. If you had the actual, like, 2D game space jump in this, it would be completely broken. It's really just a high jump. Let's see, there's a missile expansion right here. Oh, okay. Did I miss it? I must have missed it. Yeah, I, I just drove right past it. This is where the crash frigate is at down here. Eventually. Oh, space pirates. Come back here, I want to scan you. Oh, we got this phase on there.
Yeah, that zaps your health really fast. I just wanted to kill that guy in particular. I mean, you know, there's just something so alluring about Phazon. Yeah, it's super deadly and all that stuff, but man, it looks so pretty. It's like I wanna I wanna hold it in my hands. And this this is gonna sound weird, but I wanna know how it tastes. Like Phazon looks like it tastes good. Like, yeah, it's it's radioactive and stuff, but man, I, I wanna I wanna drink some Phazon. And you know, either one or two things is gonna happen. I'm going to die, or I'm going to get, like, superpowers. So, it, it might be, it might be worth the risk, right? I mean... That crater... I mean, Phazon basically looks like Mountain Dew Voltage. And then you have Red Phazon in the Impact Crater. Only seen in this game for some reason. And that's basically just Mountain Dew Code Red. Maybe some of that juicy lore. Mountain Dew Voltage Spider-Man. Granted, you know, if I if I was to drink a Mountain Dew Voltage right now, it'd probably act like phase on on my body because I haven't drank anything that sugary and that chemically and caffeinated in a very long time. Recorded to like book. Yeah, the music in this game is awesome. Very atmospheric. No, it's not an energy drink, it's, it's Mountain Dew. It's called Mountain Dew Voltage. What, you, you've never had it, Spider Man? Are you serious? Okay, you guys know what Mountain Dew Code Red is, I'm assuming. Everybody in their mama knows what Mountain Dew Code Red is. They have a blue Mountain Dew. It's called Mountain Dew Voltage. It came out... It came out sometime after Code Red. I remember when it came out. It came out when I was a kid. Or like a teenager or whatever. It's simply the best Mountain Dew there is. Other than Baja. But yeah, it, it's it's phase on. Mountain Dew Voltage is just straight up phase on. Well, boys, we got the space jump. We're back on Samus's ship. I think I'm gonna call it a night for tonight and continue streaming tomorrow because my girlfriend's about to get off work soon. So this is a good stopping point for now. Thanks, Ace. Thanks, Spider Man, for tuning in. Hanging out with me, I appreciate it. If anybody else watches this, thanks for watching. I'm RC, and I will see you guys tomorrow when I continue live playing Metroid Prime Remastered. One of the best remasters ever made, and I can already say that. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.